Do you feel like the day has gotten away from you? And this essential oil recipe is just what you need to help you relax after a long day. It's a floating wick candle. You get to decorate it yourself and we're really excited to make them. It uses the aroma of essential oil so you can feel confident that what you're breathing in is safe. So let's get started. To make our beautiful floating candle, we're going to use our Simply Earth essential oil recipe box. We'll pull out our stickers and recipe card. And we are going to be using the floating wicks that come in this one's box, along with lemongrass, sage, and cinnamon essential oils. All right, and from your home, you're gonna wanna grab a decorative vase, some cooking oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, any kind of cooking oil will work for this. And for the one we're making today, some decorative beets and some clear water beets. These together are going to help us create the illusion of floating or suspended beads. That is so pretty. Another great option for making your own candle is using fresh or fake flowers. The first thing we're gonna do is assemble our floating wicks. You're gonna remove the bases and the wicks and there will be three of each. Next, what you wanna do is grab one of your bases and one wick and then push it through the middle. There's a little perforated hole there. We'll use one wick for the vase we're making, and I'll just set this aside for now. One cool thing you can add to your vase if you choose is a light on the bottom, which is really nice if you're using this candle in the evening or as a centerpiece at a wedding, something like that. You can get these waterproof tea lights to go in the bottom. You just turn on your light according to its instructions. So for this one, we just remove this little piece of paper that's blocking the battery and it lights up and we'll place that on the bottom. And then we can disguise it with some vase filler or we're gonna use the beads. All right, next we're going to add some of our vase filler. So add some of these and then add some beads and go back and forth. I like to fill it about three quarters of the way full just in case those beads expand. Add your last layer because we don't want to get too close to the top. All right, so now what we're going to do is add more water to it. There was some water in our water beads so you can see how this looks clear. We'll add some water to make the rest of it appear to be clear as well. All right, and now it looks magical like they're floating and if you don't like some of the placement of your beads you can push them down yes. and arrange them how you'd like. All right next up is to add a thin layer of oil to our top and we can use any kind of cooking oil. We have fractionated coconut oil that we're going to add and the coconut oil is going to float to the top. We're now going to add our essential oils. So as long as there's oil in here it'll keep burning if it runs out of oil, the candle will go out, which is fine. You can just add some more oil to it and then relight it. So next we're gonna add our essential oils to that top layer of oil. Three. So three drops of lemongrass, two drops of sage, and one drop of cinnamon. And then we need to make sure that we stir the essential oil and the coconut oil. Try to just stir the surface so we don't disrupt all the beads underneath. Next, we're gonna add our wick foil side up. Make sure that side is on top um, because this cork side can burn. So make sure that the foil side is up. And then we light it. This is such a great, simple way to add essential oils to a candle. It adds a subtle aroma and a beautiful ambiance that's very peaceful, so great after a long day. Or you could even use this at an event, as decoration. It's a really fun recipe. So whether you're using beads or flowers, you can also use other decorations like pretty stones or shells. You can put anything in this vase, just make sure it doesn't come into contact with this wick up top. For more recipes just like this, head to simplyearth.com slash box and don't forget to hit the subscribe now button. We'll give you the things you need to make amazing essential oil recipes just like this one. Thanks for watching.